What's up everybody, Derek Anderson, the DA, and yeah, it looks like Kevin Smith is weighed in on the Latina Batgirl movie, as he calls it, saying it's an incredibly bad look uh, for Warner Brothers to give this thing the axe. Um, and I'm not sure exactly where he was going with it. He just kind of throws race in there for no reason. Like it could have been, oh, it's a, you know, bad look to cancel the bad girl movie because of all the money that they lost. It's a bad look to cancel the bad girl movie because, you know, this is an up and coming actress and it's kind of hurting her career. It's a bad look to cancel this film because, you know, it hurts the DC brand in a certain sort of way, you know, makes the DC look bad, but he just throws in lots Latina Batgirl movie and it was a bad idea to cancel it as if to say like if it was any other race you know it would have been fine but because it's a Latina Batgirl film it's not fine I'm not exactly sure what Kevin Smith is getting at uh his, here with his comment but let's just kind of glance at this real quick and, and there's uh there's another piece of this that I'm gonna get to uh Kevin Smith has weighed in on Warner Brothers Discovery scrapping the Batgirl movie starring Leslie Grace the movie made by the conglomerate has caused shock waves in the industry and smith who is a comic book aficionado and writer shared his thoughts on his youtube series hollywood babble on it's an incredibly bad look to cancel the latina batgirl movie smith said in the video i don't give a shit if the movie was absolute effing dog shit i guarantee you that it wasn't the two directors who directed that movie did a couple of episodes of Miss Marvel and it was a wonderful effing show and they had more money to do Batgirl than they had to do an episode of Miss Marvel and stuff. I, I was waiting for like some kind of explanation as to why this was a bad idea for them to cancel that. They don't put it in the article. I'm not going to listen to his podcast or whatever uh, to see what else he had to say. I just thought it was kind of short sighted kind of a comment. Like, okay, it's a Latina girl, so what? You know, if it was a white girl, would it be any different? You know, it's just kind of dumb just to throw race around. Like, race is the only thing that matters in this situation. I just think that a lot of people are losing sight of this thing because all the racial issues that keep getting propped up, people are just throwing race in where race doesn't belong. It has nothing to do with the fact, I didn't even know the girl was Latina, honestly, and I didn't really care. It was like, hey, I'm just gonna watch a movie. I don't care if she's Latina. She kind of looked Latina, but also looked kind of black as well. So I was like, mm, okay, you know, but if she's Latina, she's black, so what, so what? The fact is, is that the race of the character isn't the reason why they canceled this film. It has nothing to do with her race. It had nothing to do with anything but the fact that it was a bad movie. And we're going to check that out right now. So check this out. I found this on this Facebook group, Restore the Snyder vs. the Snyder Knights public group. And they give us a plot leak of the Batgirl film, the screen test. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and read through this to see if we actually think that this film was going to be any good whatsoever. Let's see if this is going to be actually entertaining. I'll try not to laugh at some of the more uh, ridiculous parts. And I want y'all to know, like, keep in mind, this might not be the actual script. This might not be the actual plot of this thing, okay? It might be something else, but this is just what this person was reporting. So let's just take it at face value. Let's say this is indeed what it was, and let's see what it has to say. So, Barbara Gordon, Leslie Grace, returns to Gotham City after attending college and reunites with her father, Commissioner James Gordon, who is J.K. Simmons. Not sure how that was going to work, but whatever. Uh, Barbara attempts to join the Gotham City Police Department against Gordon's wishes, but ends up in a desk job as a computer analyst. Barbara admires Batman, who has disappeared, and the new generation of vigilantes he has inspired, particularly the Black Canary, Journey Smollett. And see, you see right, right away, right away, they're bringing in that terrible, terrible Black Canary. Uh, anybody that saw that uh, Birds of Prey automatically know, automatically is groaning and rolling their eyes when you talk about bringing that Black Canary back. That was just like something you should have swept up under the rug and just forgot. The entire character was butchered. That was not Black Canary, at least the Black Canary that I've read in comics. Um, it, it, it's, it's just a poor, poor concept right off the bat to bring her back in here so you already noticed this thing was on shaky legs uh barbara trained martial arts in college she begins in, to engage in vigilantism so they're not really even using like the batgirl origin story they're not even using that they're just kind of making up something on their own uh she begins to engage in vigilantism aided by her transgender friend alicia yao and that and that right there tells you everything that you kind of needed to know uh, in regards to this, yeah, the, the messaging was coming. You knew the messaging was coming. Um, the, the fact that they didn't go with just the standard redhead girl for Barbara Gordon, and now they got a transgender friend. The messages are going to be all over the place. They're trying to send messages. This is where the woke stuff kind of 
offends people because it's like just cast characters who cares if she's transgender you know people want to be treated like normal but then they highlight that they're transgender you know it's like okay if you want to be treated like a normal person just hey you're just a person you're just alicia Yao. there's no reason to put this you know descriptor in front of your name unless you want to call attention to this particular situation Anyway, uh, Barbara investigates a series of fires and learns that the culprit is vengeful firefighter turned arsonist Garfield Firefly Lens, as played by Brendan Fraser. Meanwhile, Gordon joins forces with District Attorney Janice Porter to take down monster Carmine Falcone. You know, and that was the other thing, man. Like, how many times are they going to use Carmine Falcone? Stop using Carmine. Just get a, like the mob, 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 mob. They don't know anything else to do. These, this is sloppy, lazy. I hate this kind of writing, man. Not to say that Carmine Falcone is a bad character or anything, but it's like, okay, you it, don't don't you have other ideas? It's like they keep repeating. It's like, almost like the the shot with the pearls. It's like we're just gonna keep showing this stuff again and again and again. <sighs> Their case relies on testimony from Falcone's former enforcer, Mickey Sullivan, so Falcone hires Firefly to eliminate them. At the same time, Barbara develops a relationship with Alberto Romano, uh, unaware that he is Falcone's estranged son. Uh, Barbara foils Firefly's attack on Porter in a makeshift bat suit, but fails to save Sullivan, attracting the attention of Bruce Wayne. Wayne uh, recruits Barbara through the Black Canary, who trains her. So, again, just completely getting rid of the whole Batgirl backstory. No, it's now black canary who had to connect bruce wayne to barbara gordon that's what we're gonna do dumb 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 he provides her a new suit and arsenal uh barbara finds out about alberto and urges him to stand against his father but he's reluctant restraining their relationship it, this was gonna be boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy this was gonna be bad y'all uh firefly kidnaps gordon for falcone barbara confronts them saves her father defeats firefly and arrests falcone alberto ultimately testifies against falcone who is convicted but he must then leave gotham for the <laughs> for the witness protection uh, and for the fbi's witness protection program oh man this is just this is a headache right here man i would have been laughing in the theaters i'm telling you right now anybody that knows me i would have been out i, I would have been in the back of the theater just cackling like a hyena at this whole movie this is so bad uh bruce reveals to barbara that he was once batman and chooses her as his successor batgirl meanwhile black canary is assigned by bruce to investigate activity by the league of assassins in gotham setting up her spinoff film so they was going to do a Black Canary spinoff film, huh? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, thank God David Zaslav has taken over it over there at DC. Uh, cons. Uh, it says, okay, so the actor playing Batgirl was trash. I, I, don't, I, I can't comment on the acting. This is what this person is saying. Trash. And the suit looks worse than it did when the images first hit. I'm not, I'm not surprised. Uh, Keaton's return wasn't bad. So this film took place after the Flash film, which was very obvious because there were a few references to events that happened in that film, along with Keaton's Batman mentioning it. Uh, Keaton was good, but the costume looked like cosplay Batman outfit you can get from Party City. Uh, the film focused more on the typical females are stronger, better than males, and Batgirl was politically woke all the time. Yeah, so, you know, Kevin Smith can say whatever he want to say, but I mean, for this, if this is all true, who I wouldn't have wanted to see this. I'm glad somebody leaked this whole thing to it. This little picture, it says, Batgirl seemed like a bad episode of TV. The film's July 14 testing was poorly received, which the audience called it like a bad episode of TV, and it's definitely not theatrical. Thank you, David dad's laugh you saved yourself you saved us the you saved me personally because i i would i would feel obligated to go and watch this trash and come back and give a review on this and you saved me all of that trouble so i really appreciate you for that um but yeah this is this is part of the problem that they had no good ideas of what to do with this particular character they tried to throw her into some kind of a female empowerment film maybe or something with that they tried to throw her into something with a huge political slant to it they have transgender um you know friends popping up in there notice they didn't say anything else about this transgender friend she wasn't intricate to the plot at all anywhere in there so here we go let's just throw this transgender person in there and hey, hey representation baby we did it 
and that's all they do with these characters and it's ridiculous it's dumb and that's why these films fail time and time again so yeah david zaslav made the right call got this thing up out of there and so now we'll see if they can somehow do a proper batgirl film and look kevin smith can say whatever it is that he wants to say about you know oh, it's a shame or it's a it's a bad look you know to cancel this film but the reality is if this was the film that they're talking about i mean this thing sounds like absolute hot garbage and there's no way in the world that this thing should have been greenlit um at all much less filmed they're almost to completion like what were they thinking i have no idea uh there's a good way to do a batgirl movie i think you start with batgirl in a smaller role in a batman film and then from there you can spin her off and do her own thing you don't bring in black canary that's a dumb idea i don't understand who came up with that whoever came up with that man the thing about it is if you stick to the original source material these things write themselves you know there's really not a lot to do if you just stick with the original source material and say hey we're just going to go ahead and make the film and make a make a good movie make a good movie with good character like we always used to do i thought i've always thought the idea was you take a batman movie have bad girl in it and then you spin bad girl off into her own film and then you bring in the gotham city sirens so then you have catwoman poison ivy you can throw harley quinn in there um and then you have bat girl going up against the three of them and then that ends up spinning off into the birds of prey like you have the birds of prey is like four films away from this because then you can put her in the wheelchair she's oracle it's fantastic but just to jump to a bad girl movie and then not even really follow like her standard origins story it's just dumb it's just dumb and i don't see any reason why they would have done it this way uh yeah david zaslav thank you very much for getting this crap canceled but nevertheless folks what do you think about the bat girl getting canceled again kevin smith's comments or this particular story synopsis would you have gone to watch this film or if you know going in what this film is going to be about would this been something that you would have watched go ahead let me know down in the comments below i want to thank you all for watching see you next time